Our aim in looking at risk and return is to align the interests of companies and investors with those of customers. This helps to make sure companies deliver in the best interests of customers. As part of our initial assessment of business plans, we will be looking at assessing companies' proposals on the overall financial return and incentive framework that they will face, and if they are financially resilient and efficient enough to operate in the face of potential risks. There are three main components to this. Firstly, we will look at the base allowance companies say they need to finance their functions, called the cost of capital. We set out our early view in December 2017 that this should be around 2.4% on an RPI deflated basis. This is the lowest amount proposed by a regulator so far. If companies think a different number is appropriate, we'll be looking for robust justification grounded in expected market conditions for 2020 to 25 and that customers will benefit from their different pr proposal. Secondly, we will be looking at how well companies understand the risks they face and how they impact on their ability to achieve the financial and performance commitments they set out. A good business plan will use financial modelling across different scenarios and a range of impacts to understand how they could be affected. We will also be looking for evidence that the company has thoroughly thought through how to mitigate and manage these risks. Where companies want to transfer risks to cu customers, we will be looking for robust evidence that this is in customers' best interests. Finally, all companies need to demonstrate that they will remain investable and financially resilient. Companies' boards play a key role here in demonstrating that their business plan is consistent with maintaining an appropriate investment-grade credit rating. We have given companies tools to support this. These tools must, however, be used carefully as they change how costs are split between current and future customers and the future financial strength of the company. So we will therefore be looking carefully at companies' plans to ensure that these tools are being used appropriately. A good plan will explain clearly how the company has used th these tools and why. Companies must show the impact on bills now and in the future and that this is supported by customers.